Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mood. Here we have interesting exponential equations 3 to the power x equal to 5 to the power 2x. So let's try to solve this. Let's try to simplify this. Of course, we can simplify our right side because we know that if we have a situation like that, if we have 5 to the power 2x, we can write this 5 to the power 2x as 5 square raised to the power x. Then we multiply and we have our 5 to the power 2x in the beginning, so this equal to 3 to the power x. So I think you understand this step because we know the rule that x to the power a times b we can write as x to the power a raised to the power b. This is good rule, so learn this rule or remember this rule. And of course I use this rule right here. So we will have 3 to the power x equal to 5 square 25 to the power x. If we have a situation like that, if we have maybe more complicated equation, we divide both sides by, for example, in our case, let's divide both sides by 25 to the power x. So we will have 3 to the power x over 25 to the power x equal to 25 to the power x over 25 to the power x, it will be 1. So we have different bases, but same exponent right here. Of course, we can write it in one parenthesis. So the rule right here, if we have a to the power x over b to the power x, we can write it as a over b raised to the power x. Really good rule, because we write this as 3 over 25 all raised to the power x equal to 1. What are we going to do next? Of course, we have exponential function right here and we can write this one as 3 over 25 to the power 0. So it doesn't matter what the base, if we raise this base to the power 0, we will have 1. So we can write this as 3 over 25 raised to the power x equal to 3 over 25 to the power 0. This will be equal to 1 because we know that Everything we raise to the zero power, it will be equal to one. So this is our second rule and our third rule. This is our first rule right here. This is our second rule and our third rule. If you have a to the power zero equal to one. This is our third rule right here. So doesn't matter what the base, if you raise to the zero power, it will be equal to one. And as you can see right here, we have same basis and we need to write an equation with our exponent. So if we have x equal to 0. So this is one and only root. We can check it real quick. 3 to the 0 power equals 5 to the 0 power. Of course this is true because we will have 1 equal to 1 and this is our one and only root. If you agree with this method, if you disagree, maybe you have faster method how to solve this, write a suggestion in the comment, write a question in the comment. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.